two. Mm. What a fucking game that was. Agreed. Depressing, but also some beautiful <laughs> moments. Some beautiful moments within that. Tell me, how do you look back on it all? The, the hate, the love, everything that came with it. How, how do you look back? It's you know how someone says you know you can you can say whatever you want about me but don't don't talk about my sister. Um, mm-hmm. That's that's there's a lot of that with me and Laura Bailey, and the the thing that's most impressive to me she's she's a phenom she's inimitable incomparable. Um, I'm honored to. She's like a little sister to me, and and, and yeah. she and I have been dear friends for for years. And and she stood by me for a lot of the stupid stuff that I've done. Mm-hmm. Um, called me out on my shit a lot. Really? Um, she, oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> She's just like stop doing that. Like a good sister should. Like right? a great sister should. And even though she's younger than me, um, but then there's also we've been incredible scene partners together like we've we've been in more games and more shows together it's 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 stupid um she knew going in what she was signing up for she couldn't by any stretch of the imagination imagination uh predict the methodology and the execution of of what that vitriol would look like but she knew what she was signing up for she was like people are going to hate this character and so she didn't think she's like, I think she's gonna love it. I get to be in the last of us. She wasn't, she was going and going, I understand the role that my character has within this story. I understand that I am the actor that is playing that character, and people will associate that with me. Let's go to work. She was the bravest person that ever stepped foot on that stage. All of us got to be familiars, and all of us got to be, oh my God, I can't believe we get to be in another game. She walked in every day knowing they'll remember her for one thing. No matter what they play, but if I do my job, if I make them pause for a second and go, then I will have done my job. If you can get to the very end and you're in Santa Barbara and you're hesitating, she's done her job. And I oh, more than hesitating, I was you know on her I mean? side. Now you change I, I, sides. I can't believe how they did it. I've never experienced anything where ever I had such hatred for her because I love your character, and then gone, and I'm heartbroken, but I'm pushing on, <laughs> and, then, and then she just wins me over. And by the end, I actually like, I actually felt for her more than Ellie. Boy, Ellie's a character scary. that I've loved, you know, a character that I've loved so much as well. It's just unbelievable. It's the. It. the, the the true feat, and this is why, it, look, man, I, I've, the words of Marcus Aurelius have really rung true to me, especially in the last several years, because I, I, I got to myself to a point to where I was addicted to people's opinions, and I was sustained by the currency that they afforded me. And mm. I realized that I can't do that, because if I do, um, I'll go mad. So I finally had to, and I realized, I've, I've got this pen in my hand. And I realized that I'm not an actor, I'm not a musician, I'm not a writer, I'm not a director, I'm a storyteller. Mm. And that allows me to do all of those things without the necessitation of the structure and then the framework by which those conventionally are used. So I'm not an actor because I act, I'm a storyteller that chooses to play characters and that's how I tell my story that day. But if all of that I am is an actor, then that limits me in the, the way that I can tell my story. But the pen is in my hand. It is my story that I'm telling. And if I all of a sudden go, well, what do you think? And I hand the pen to you and you go, you're terrible. Oh no, I'm terrible. I've allowed you to write a page in my story. I've got to keep the pen in my hand. So I knew within like hours before the leaks hit that there, that it was coming. Wow. We would have been most likely on the press tour for the game when it hit. Mm. So I'm grateful that I wasn't there. That would have been really, really bad. I would have been most likely far from home um, during a, a, it was 
it was scary, man, because there were mm. people threatening to to dox, and and Laura got the oh, brunt it of it, disgusting. especially. Some of the stuff I saw just absolutely yeah. disgusting. Um, and it was, <laughs> it was people that were, people that were capitalizing on on an opportunity. They weren't fans or or people that love the story. Uh, it's it impossible. You yeah. can you can disagree with the story, and you can disagree with with the characters. Mm. You can question the writing, but I would love to read your script if you do. Exactly, exactly. That's and those are the I people say. that have have largely said, "Let me tell you what's wrong with this story." I'm like, it is not the critic who counts, but the one who gets in the ring, whose face is marred with sweat and blood. So let me read your script. Let me read yours. And if your script is legitimately better, fucking send it to Neil Druckmann, and take over Naughty Dog. <laughs> <laughs> write a better story. But I doubt yeah. with the pedigree that that studio has, with the devotion and the, the true talent that Neil Druckmann has and Halle Gross, you could not write a better story. Because there's I've never played a game that, that made me, as someone who was involved with making the game, made me feel the way that I did. It was... It was I, I, I've never had a relationship with a game like that before. It, it, and especially not just like, oh, the moments everyone goes to to Joel's death and it's like, it, that's not the most impactful moment for me. In some ways, the house afterwards oh, is the house. far what more a, impactful. It is the, the funeral tears. in the wake. I was, I was, I was, a, I was in a heap. Were you? <laughs> oh, man. Wow. And it, awesome, it was, because I knew that was coming. I didn't know the house was coming. I didn't know how oh, I would feel. So cool for the space scene i didn't know how i would feel for the final porch scene all and i can imagine is you moments. playing and just crying half the time <laughs> pretty much i played it in chunks i played it in, in, in about two uh, hour and a half to two hour chunks i don't um, i don't think i can play it again to be honest mate seriously i just i i want to keep that one experience and just you know for the rest of my uh, maybe i'll go back one day but it's one of those games you just want to it's just a one and done, I think. I haven't played it since it came. I, I got a review copy, and, and Neil said it's time. And I was like, okay. And I sat on it for a while because there was this Schrodinger's place where it lived because I didn't know yet. Mm-hmm. And, he's, and Neil asked me, he was like, I want to know, do you think we did the right thing? Wow. And I said, I'll tell you after I play. Because wow. I can't say yes and then criticize someone who hasn't played it and has formed an opinion. I said, I could tell you how I felt as an actor. I could tell you how I felt on stage. And I could tell you how I feel going into it. And I could tell you the, the, the months and the years that have, have you know, been spent and culminated in, in you asking that question and all the conversations we've had and all of the things that this game has provided for me. But the truth is, until I pick up the controller and I play it, I can't give you an honest answer. I can't give you an honest assumption. But the answer that I gave him then is the same answer that I have now on the other side of it. If somehow the good Lord gave me a second chance, I would do it all over again. Wow. That is awesome, man.